I was playing basketball, and then between eight and nine o'clock, some somebody just start pulling up and start shooting. It felt like it hurt it because I I tried to drag my leg when I kept on trying to get up, but I just sat right there and called for help. When I woke up, I was scared because. And then I thought at first, when I had first got shot, I thought the bullet, daddy had got the bullet out. When my granny had told me they didn't get it out, I was like scared because I thought it, it can move. I thought it was gonna move somewhere. I get mad because sometimes, what I, like when I was an eight, um, I didn't have no game or nothing to play on. So when I had wake up, I had nothing to do but eat cereal and go upstairs and watch TV. Alright, when I still moving, but I like, I wish I had a better life or something. Car roll past, start shooting, try to run, but I realized I got hit in my leg. That's when I just fell down, start crawling to the next door neighbor's yard. That's when they did. They called the police. Yeah, they showed up. Well, for real, for real, for real, but I was thinking about they they, um, they need to slow down next I mean, um, slow down next time. Because they were going fast and my leg was in pain. If I was gonna be okay, if um, the bullet came out and went straight through, but they just told me that it hit hit my bone. And I thought I was gonna be messed up for a little minute. You know, like every day it's hard. It's hard. It's mm, hard people to get a job around my age or something. But I wake up every day, you know, I just got my family with me, my friends. That's it. I mean, at first I thought, I'm thinking through my head, I thought it was going to be hard first, first time going back to school. But going through all them classes, um, the teachers are to help you. And right now, I'm doing good. Teachers um, called my parents and said I was doing good in class. I'm listening. But school's life for me is, yeah. when you see the same people every day, you probably gonna, you probably gonna see somebody in there that you don't like. But, um, yeah, it's not nothing like what people think about Shawnee. Yeah. It's not bad or nothing. It's just people there to help you if you need help. And when I first went there, I thought I was thinking the same thing, like, I don't want to go to no shiny. That's the ghetto. But when I got there, it was, it was all right. But I got to know everybody, teachers, security guards, staff members. They just cool. Just better be your friend and let to help you, help you if you need help. Hope. <clears throat> Hope me to me is that you growing up, and you feel me, in the, in the projects or the ghetto or something, and you think that you're not gonna make it out, like go see college or nothing, or you just think about it, you're gonna be in a cell or um, in there. It's a hope, it's always a hope. My daddy told me it's always a hope. You're gonna put your, um, put your head to it, you're gonna make it.